back to News Geelong as it's time for the action-packed world of Geelong sport and the one and only flying hawk, Nathan Curry. Good evening, Nathan. Thank you very much, Rule. Well, first up in sport tonight, I spoke to the Bowen Rockets coach Brian Thomas and their captain Michael Condy about the upcoming Under-18 State Championships in Mildura next week. Brian, you missed out on the champs last year. You must be glad to be back in them. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, we false started last year. We stumbled at the 2020 games. Um, and we've worked on that over the pre-season with this new squad, so we're really looking forward to Mildura. Were you able to pick your strongest squad, or were there injuries? Yeah, no, we've missed out on two. Mike, Merrick Buchanan and Dom McGlinchey are going to play under-17s, so we'd love to have them in the side, but we have got a strong side as is. Do you know anything about the people you're playing against? Do you know their strengths or weaknesses? There's the uh, Emus were uh, Camberwell in Melbourne, and uh, between them and uh, Bow and Rockets, we, uh, that's our main aim to beat them. They beat us, they go on to win it, we beat them. That's the time that we win it as well. Now Mick, you captained the Dowling side to the final of the championships two years ago, so you should know what you're talking about. Could you, could you run through the team and say who's the ones to watch? Uh, yeah, we've got a pretty good side with a good balance of quicks and spinners with um, both Kat, Andrew Casey and Dave McFarlane playing for the second year. Um, ones to watch I would think would be the two spinners um, being um, in Madura, I think um, with the, the flat tracks they're really going to be important for us as well as um, Jared Gunn who's our wicket keeper and has played first 11 cricket at Geelong this year. Well you've nearly gone all the way before, do you think the Rockets can go all the way? Yeah I do, um, we've got a lot of players in the side that, that have played a lot of pathway cricket over the last probably four or five years so under 18's been the last year, um, they've all experienced it in the past so should hold them in good stead. So the boys have had the opportunity to play with each other before? Yeah, it's, it's under 18 so we've, we've probably been together since the under 14 program as well as playing cricket. Um, there's probably four or five blokes that play at the same club so we all know each other pretty well and um, yeah, we're looking forward to the weekend. Did you play the, the final two years ago on the MCG? Um, no, there was a, instead of our final um, at the MCG, the Vic Spirit women's game was on, so we got moved back to the Junction, <laughs> junction Oval. So what would it mean to be able to walk out on the G if you make it to the finals? Yeah, it's a pretty good reward for making the final. Um, I, I don't, it hasn't been spoken about yet at, at any of our training or games. We just hopefully want to play some good cricket, and if, that, if we get there on the last day, it'll be really exciting for the boys. Well, thanks for your time, boys, and good luck. And News Geelong will keep all the viewers updated on how you're going. Oh, thank you. Thanks for that, boys. Well, next up in News Geelong Sport, my good friend John Dunn brings us all the latest racing highlights from the Geelong Racing Track. A cool southerly was enough for the holiday makers to come in from the beach and enjoy a day at the races. Family day here at Geelong. And leading trainer Mark Kavanagh, well, he showed why any runner he produces should be respected when the debutante linked in scored a big win in the opening event. Punters were right on the mark early here at Geelong. First three races, first three favourites, and iridescent. He continued the trend for the punters when he scored a great win in race number three. A brilliant front-running ride from Chris Simon saw the Mike Moroney train gallop a brilliant Coney, score an all-away win in the country showcase. And that's the wrap-up of Racing Family Day here at Geelong. Don't forget our next meeting is on January the 25th, school holidays. Like to see you out here. Thanks for that, John. And not only was that John done, it's also sport done for the week. I'll be back on Wednesday night, but until then, it's back to you, Rollo. Thank you, Nathan. Hope you enjoy the program, John Dunn. Have a good weekend with plenty of pulsating sport happening in and around our great city of Geelong, Nathan. And now to Mother Nature and the all-important weather over the coming days as we are joined by our sparkling Lani Salathiel. Good evening, Lani. Will the good weather continue around Geelong for the weekend? 
Thanks, Graham, and good evening, everyone. A nice day on the way tomorrow and a few showers around during the week. Let's take a look at the forecast. For tomorrow, we're looking at a top of 30, becoming cloudy in the afternoon, some isolated showers and the chance of thunderstorms from midday onwards uh, with a cool change on the way later in the day for tomorrow. For Sunday, cooling down a little bit, a maximum of 24, a partly cloudy day, the chance of showers during the morning as well. For Monday, we're looking at 25, a shower or two around in Geelong as well. For Tuesday, a maximum of 24, a cloudy day with a few isolated showers possible again. For Wednesday, we're looking at 27, a partly cloudy day, again some isolated showers around. Thursday, a maximum of 28, a partly cloudy day and the chance of showers again in Geelong. And today we had a mostly sunny day, some cloud around at times. We had a minimum of 15 and a maximum of 35, so a lovely warm day in Geelong. We had a top of 35 in Aries Inlet and Avalon today also. So that's the weather for the weekend and for the start of next week. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you, Lani. Yes, see you again next Wednesday night. And thank you for being with us on News Geelong this Wednesday evening. Remember, Glennie Butterworth, take your time and smell the flowers. From all the team at News Geelong, have a pleasant evening, a safe weekend and a very good night.